to be a good idea to actually bring God. these high caliber weapons into US streets? I don't think it's a good idea. You know, Captain, one might ask, uh, will this equipment not obscure the lines between soldier and police officers, especially in those small communities where they're already being distributed? What's your take on that? Yes, it will obviously obscure the line between military and the police. Video we rarely see, Fort Worth police on camera raiding a drug house. But tonight, a family says this video raises questions about the death of a man inside. Police used a taser on Jermaine Darton during that raid last May. He died, records show, of natural causes. But his family says his civil rights were violated. Channel H Todd Unger tonight's in the Fort Worth newsroom. He's got more on that. Todd? John, good evening. Like you said, Darden, the man in question here, well, he does have a criminal past. He even had K2 in his system, according to an autopsy. What he did not have, says his sister, was a chance to live. Like a lot of drug raids, police bust in without a lot of notice. Police. But for the man in the white tank top, things go from bad to worse quickly. Fort Worth officer suddenly deployed tasers, striking Jermaine Darden twice, moments after coming in. Here it is from another officer's camera angle. Even now when I watch it, I break down because I don't see where there was a reason for him to die. Darden's sister says the police video shows what their family suspected all along. The man who suffered from asthma was roughed up by officers for no justifiable reason. At one point, you hear other suspects telling officers Darden has breathing trouble. His family says he has always needed to sit and even sleep at an upright angle, which clearly isn't happening as officers keep him pinned to the ground. But according to six inches of police documents associated with the tasing, Darden was, quote, actively resisting officers and, quote, did not show any signs of having an asthma attack. You can see him struggling with police here. There also was a delay in getting paramedics to the scene. We don't have an active call there. A MedStar crew stationed only a mile away had to be requested three times. During that time, Darden went unresponsive. He had a right to breathe. He had a right to live. He doesn't have it. That was taken from him. Police did find drugs at the scene and kids in the house. But Darden's family says despite that evidence, the camera footage itself is evidence. <laughs>